I want to go into the dark web to see if we can buy groundbreaking insider information to make money through stock picks. Right now, social media has become flooded with teenagers flexing cash, buying supercars, designer, and ice through various untapped black hat methods, whether it's from swiping, stocks, or free DoorDash, all by taking the risk. And it's come so far you can't even search for these videos on TikTok anymore. And I want to know what this underground community has to offer. How legit could it be? A wage slave brokey. Don't be one of those people. Okay, so I've dabbled into Tor a little bit in the past and you can find just about anything. Therefore, I'm going to take a few cybersecurity precautions to ensure people don't start selling my social security to swipers. So now all my information should be locked up, so we're ready to hop onto Tor and dive into the rabbit hole. Now there's a few different ways you can find information and marketplaces on here, but I found this dark web search engine, so I'm just going to type in stocks and see what comes up. Off rip, there wasn't that many stock related websites, but I did end up finding some interesting things. Okay, we have a website here apparently selling subscriptions to fixed sports matches. Now maybe there's corrupt judges or players are paid to take the fall, but in theory if I paid $75 for an insider match and played let's say a $300 bet on the team, I can make up to $250 in guaranteed profits. It's tempting, but not really what I'm looking for. I found this website called Trading University and just by the name, it's giving me good vibes. Apparently they have people on Wall Street itself calling into this group with where they're planning to move the stocks and it seems almost promising. So in short, if I pay them $1,000 in Bitcoin, I'll get daily access to insider stock calls, although we may be slightly bending the rules of the law. Now assuming this all isn't some deliberate scam, I'm expecting an email with callouts, an invite to a top secret group of elites, or just anything once the Bitcoin confirms. So I'm going to keep browsing and I'll let you guys know if I find anything else. While the search for other options continued, I found some other interesting businesses. On the dark web, there's some open marketplaces similar to an Amazon, except instead of buying multivitamins, hats, or makeup, they're selling anabolic steroids and one-to-one -one counterfeit money. You can find infinite substances and weapons on here. It's it's genuinely unsettling with some of the things you see. But more related to the video, there's people selling loaded PayPal accounts, which are probably stolen. You can buy crypto wallets and stolen credit cards, which they're selling for a massive discount. It doesn't really make sense when they could just use it themselves. It's just a whole unethical space that isn't worth getting locked up for. But the actual listings I wanted to try were in the financial services tab, where people are selling methods to make thousands of day trading or weapon of mass premium trading. It's an AI bot that'll auto trade using some black hat insider strategy. So I'm thinking we run this alongside the other callouts I bought to see how accurate and consistent these insider trading calls are across multiple listings. So I bought more Bitcoin to purchase the other listing and I'll be back hopefully tomorrow with access to both of these services so I can run them through the week. I just got an email from one of the services. It looks pretty suspicious. So I drove to a nearby Starbucks to get on their Wi-Fi. So let's see what we got sent. What is the one secret to being rich? So they invited me to a pretty private telegram group called Inside the Money and not being that many people really has me on the edge of my seat here. So I joined the group under an Elias so the matrix won't come after me. Now when I got into the telegram, there were still a few messages left on there. And when I scrolled back up through the messages, they're usually calling out different penny stocks that I had never even heard of before. And sure enough, their calls are usually right. On Friday, they called out this penny stock called VRVR that isn't even listed on most brokers. It's some virtual reality gaming company. And by this morning, the stock jumped over 50% from 50 cents to over a dollar, which is massive for a stock like this. And looking in the past weeks, it seems it has a pattern of going down, then spiking back to a dollar almost consistently. And sure enough, looking in the telegram, they've called out this stock a few times, which kind of has me thinking, could this just be a huge under the table pump and dump scheme rather than insider stock calls? Because in theory, if there's a big enough group buying into a stock like this with such low liquidity, it would pump up fairly easily. And then the top of the food chain or this telegram could just sell before everybody else does. So tomorrow we're going to see if this trend repeats and I might even place a few trades of my own. I don't encourage any of these shady ways to make money because if you do get caught up in some slippery scheme, you're going to get locked up. And before we can start trading, I'm not going to lie, I pump fake you guys. I actually ended up buying one of the fixed sports matches yesterday just to see what the hype was about. I didn't tell you guys because it wasn't strictly related to this video, but I just got an email with a prediction for a soccer game that's going to go live in about an hour. I'm not going to place any bets, but since I can't trade for a few more hours, I'm just going to sit around and watch the game to see if they're actually right. Yeah.
Okay, I just got finished watching the game and their prediction was right. The score was off, but the team they had in favor for winning won. I don't know how much of an insider decision this actually was because if I go into a sports betting website, the team that won was already in favor to win. So if they're just selling favored teams for $75, it's a pretty good black hat business. But with all that being said, now it's time to trade. I got another invite to a bot that auto trades binary options, which is betting if a stock is gonna go up or down within a certain time frame. So I put $1,000 into a pocket option account connected the bot and pulled up my stock charts the market opens in five minutes so i'm gonna launch this bot and we'll see how the morning goes it's been about 20 minutes or so and the pocket option account is sitting at 672 dollars now 572 it's placing trades as we speak so i'm gonna let this continue to run throughout the entire trading day and i guess we'll see how much money we end up with honestly with the amount of effort i had to put into this i don't really know if it's worth it the bot was up and down all day and the balance got as low as a hundred dollars it was having losing streaks of five at a time now mind you we did get the balance up to around two grand so technically this illegal insider stock trading method is currently working but i feel like with the win rate you could almost buy any other twitter guru stock call outs and have some similar results without having to worry about getting raided by the cops every morning. This is exciting. Yeah, this is crazy. So just my two cents, I don't really think the dark web part is necessary to make infinite money. Now moving to the other calls I bought, they called out VRVR again, and the stock did shoot up 58% to a dollar only three hours after the market opened, which is pretty interesting. There clearly isn't some whale market investing into the stock besides obviously the people in this telegram, which really has me confused. So I contacted the server owner offering extra money to hopefully get on a call or at least chat about his insider underground trading economy he has going on here to maybe even make a full follow-up video on this so make sure you guys subscribe if you're interested in more information and assuming i don't get locked up for this video maybe i'll try it again